Okay, so welcome back. So after the main tutorial video you watched where I kind of covered how the SDK works and everything, <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of rehash just one piece of it. Um, today we're going to go over how to do uh, static props, like essentially adding objects to an empty map. As you can see here, I've been adding all kinds of stuff to this modded map I've been working on. Um, we'll go over all that stuff a little bit later in other videos. Right now, what we're going to focus on is, <clears throat> say this is a brand new map that's empty, and you want to start placing stuff in this. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to collapse all this stuff here. So this is what you'll have starting out <clears throat> with your entity list here on the left, and uh, when you're starting out, the layers you will have is primary and static. So one of the things you want to do uh, when you start filling out an empty map is um, you want to kind of figure out each area you're going to be um, doing things in. So like over here is a city, over here is like a train yard, um, here's like another city. And what you want to do uh, is you don't want to start adding all of your objects, like your static props, your entities and all that, to the primary and static layer. <clears throat> you could, but what makes it more easier to manage uh, and to clean stuff up is um, I'm going to go in here and add a new layer. So I'm going to call this city. So what this does is you're going to click on the new map, uh, new layer, I mean, uh, right here. <clears throat> Make sure you're on it. So what this does is this is going to essentially group the items uh, underneath of this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the entity list. And let's say for right now, we just want to work on static objects that don't have any properties to them. They're just like visual objects, essentially. They still have physical properties, but uh, what you're going to do is go to static prop here. So this is what you will use to add every uh, physical model in the map. So you'll just drag it, and it looks like this little pink box. <clears throat> so what you do is you go up here on your properties on the right, type in model and here you'll see model and you'll click on the triple periods and expand this open and so all the static models that uh, the devs provided in the SDK are in here <clears throat> so you can see there's all kinds of categories clothes chairs blah 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 um, whatever you want <clears throat> the one thing I've noticed is you kind of have to go through every single one of these folders uh, to figure out what actually lives in them. Because some stuff uh, that we might call, like, say, a carpet might be called something entirely different. Um, I've noticed that. So let me see if I can find an example. Like, uh, let's see. What is one I can do? I think one was like the truck, uh, or was it, oh, I think it was this Zabor one, this one. Uh, this Zabor Beton, I think, is a concrete wall. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. So uh, you can, like, do concrete walls. So, like, if you do concrete up here to search for stuff. So, like, here you can see you get, like, concrete and you would think, oh, this is all the concrete there is. Well, like I said, you want to go through everything, and uh, you might find stuff that isn't named like concrete. So, like if we go back to that Zabor, it's essentially uh, labeled as this. And so you can see here, it's like a concrete wall, but it's not labeled the same. So we'll just take this, and you can see. Let me turn my speed down here, so it's not as fast. So you can see here, added a static object. Now, if you want to do stuff to it, you can hit T. Or if you don't like the shortcut keys, you can use the options up here. So you have like select, uh, move, rotate, stuff like that. But I like using the shortcut keys. So if you wanted to move this, you can go up, the green arrow, blue, you can move it, and so forth, and all that stuff. And if you want to copy something, you just control C it and control V to paste it. And then you can just move it out like this. And if you want to rotate it, you can hit Y or you can use the option on the toolbar. And you can rotate these, you know, using the access point lines like this, you know, do whatever you want. So that's pretty much what you can do to fill out your map. 
Um, you can just keep adding stuff. Like, so like I'll just add another static prop and um, let's say I want to do gas station. So I'll click on this and let's say I want to build a gas station. So I'll do that. So some things I've noticed with the props is I don't know why, but I guess they did it to like allow you to build the inside the way you want it to. But some props are fully done. Um, like the inside, the outsides are one whole object. They're all the way done. You can see here, this one's not done. So like the outside's done. It's got a roof. Looks complete, but in the inside it's not. And even if you go in game, you can see that it is empty. And you can run through it. But if you're on the outside, you can't run through it. So there's little things like that. So I think the way they, the reason they did this is because um, you can make the insides whatever you want. Uh, so like what I'll do is uh, I'll do something like this. So um, if you need to exit this simulation, you just hit control and escape. But something like this, if we want to give it an inside. We'll search for concrete is like a quick example. So I'm going to take this as my floor. And what we're going to do is just move it in here. Move this up. And I'm going to turn it like so. And then go in and kind of position it where I want it. Go down. Like, yeah. And some of the terrain you got to get right to. But let's just say that right there's good. And so. I like that, so I'll just copy it, and let's just say I'll make this my back wall. So I'll just move this here, rotate it, and go move it here. Check this again, and make sure it doesn't phase out. Take it down some, like that, and. You know, stuff like that. So you can just fill out the inside however you want to. Uh, stuff like that. Um, so what we'll get into next is we covered the static props. So that's how you add static props. Um, now let's say you want to get a little bit more involved and add props that have uh, like physical properties to them. So let's say on this gas station I want to add a ladder. So we'll go to the entity list. This entity list is where... Um, everything essentially has like scripting with it. Um, the NPCs, the prefabs, uh, vehicles, all this stuff. It has like scripting with it. It's so, like here, if I search for ladder, I'll take this ladder right here. So you can see all the scripting is with it and everything. You don't have to touch it. So I'm going to turn this and move this in. And so what you want to do with this is... If you look at it, you're kind of like, oh, this is good enough. But actually what you want to do with stuff like this gas station uh, where you have to like hit the outside. So like if you left it right here, um, you'll just clip through the roof. What you want to do is raise it up enough to where it uh, the player, when they get over it, can essentially um, uh, get on top of the roof here. So I'm going to move this uh, a little bit straighter. So I'll turn that. Um, one thing too is like uh, you'll notice if you have to move an object like here, you can see it like jumps down like that. See how it jumps? If you want to get like really precise, so like here I have a gap. If I go over here to the properties on the right and the object is still selected, here in these positions, you can be more accurate with it. So like here, you can see I can I can move it down the selection like a lot more granular to get close. So there we go. And what we'll do is test it. Um, so by the way, like if you hit two game, this starts you where the player is on the map. If you hit two game sync, this takes you to where you're at in the camera. So I'll hit that, I'll go up to the ladder and hit E. And there you go. See, it works. I don't phase through the roof. 
And so that's how you do static props and entity props. Hope that helps.